Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about 10 smaller items that sell for huge profits on eBay. The majority of these items are typically under a pound or can fit into a flat rate envelope. I hope a few of these items are something that you guys may have never thought about or maybe something that you guys looked into previously but never dove into. There's a ton of profit to be made in a lot of these products, so let's go ahead and dive right into them. The first item you guys are gonna to want to be looking out for on this list are calculators. And you'll be surprised how much these things go for. Here's a Hewlett Packard, an HP calculator. These things go for huge money. I didn't even sort these calculators from high to low. I just typed in Hewlett Packard calculator. Take a look at some of these prices. Some of them have sold for $200, $150, $80. Just take a look at these vintage calculators. Also here we have Texas Instrument calculators. You're gonna to wanna to look for graphing calculators specifically, all the TI-84, 83, 89 calculators. They have an amazing sell-through rate. I usually sell them the day I list them. Another obscure thing that you guys wanna be looking out for to sell on eBay are paperweights. Now, obviously a ton of these sell for huge, huge, huge money. You're not gonna come across these ones too often because they're obviously rare, but I have found a ton of them that sell for 80 bucks, 100 bucks, you just gotta look around at your thrift stores and at garage sales. Just look for Maker Marks, look them up on eBay and get them sold. All right guys, one of my personal favorites to sell on eBay, this can make you hundreds of thousands of dollars a year if you do it correctly, is selling sunglass and eyeglass frames. Here we got a pair of Oakleys. These are obviously going to sell very well and very fast, Oakleys always do. You wanna look out for those no name brands such as Oakley, Ray-Ban. I've sold a ton of Pradas. Don't come across a lot of Gucci, but when I do, it obviously sells very well. And then another very underrated thing that sells on eBay is eyeglass frames. Here's a pair of Ralph Lauren's. As you can tell in the video here, these are prescription lenses. Uh, look at my teeth there. You cannot sell prescription anything on eBay. So you cannot sell these prescription lenses. They will get taken down. If they get sold, you will get a ding on your account and you can even get suspended from eBay. The way you do that though, and I will be making a deeper dive on how to sell sunglasses and eyeglass frames because it's a highly requested video on my channel. The way you would sell these is you would just put in the title and the description, eyeglass frames only. The buyer understands that they will just be getting the frames of the glasses and it will be their job to go to their doctor and get their own lenses or, but I would list these I do it all the time, I sell them every single day. I would just put these as Ralph Lauren eyeglass frames only, and they understand that they are just getting the frames and they have to put the lenses in themselves. As you can see here, Ray-Bans sell for a ton of money in used condition. This is also a good example of frames only. A few of these, this one's even broken, are just frames that you can sell for big bucks. And then of course we got the Oakleys, used sunglasses. They sell for so much money, especially if you can find Oakleys. This is by far my favorite thing to sell on eBay. They just sell so quick. Another one of my go-to items that I'm always looking for at thrift stores and yard sales are wallets. Uh, men's, but mostly women's wallets. I love to find Hobo International wallets. These things sell really fast and for good money. I'm always on the lookout for Fossil and Coach and wallets of that nature. There's a lot of wallets that go for really good money. You wanna look for like ostrich, alligator skin, snake skin, just kind of the more obscure ones. But then these good old genuine wallets, you know, I pick them up at thrift stores every day for a buck and they sell for 20, 25, a lot of them sell. These hobo wallets sell for 40, 50, 60. It's one of the easiest flips that I find. I love to find those awesome flips that I make, 70, 80, 90 dollars. And then I love to have as many of these quick dollar into $30 flips as I can. Next up on the list is printer ink. You wanna look for name brands like Canon, HP, anything OEM, which is just a fancy word for name brand. You don't wanna get non-name brand printer ink. It's not gonna sell as well. It wouldn't be a J-Ride flips video if it didn't have a remote control in it. Remote controls are one of my absolute favorite flips. They're so small, they're easy to ship, and they're usually super cheap. I find them at my thrift store all the time for $3 or less. You wanna look out for Bose, Logitech, anything that has kind of like an old school receiver like Yamaha, Onkyo, even Sony. 
And then you want to look for dish remotes. They sell all day, every day, really quickly. Definitely look out for remotes. They're one of the easiest things to buy, sell, and ship on eBay. Another example of an item that I'm not too familiar with, I don't find a ton of them in my area, are pens. You're gonna to wanna to look out for vintage pens and even some new pens. If you just go to eBay, you go to the left-hand navigation and you type in pens that have sold for $30, you can find a ton of brands to look for. Another one of my favorite and go-to items to look for are cameras. Just these small little compact digital and film cameras, as well as camera lenses. Um, when you think about cameras, what brand comes to mind? Those are the ones you should be selling. Canon, Sony, Olympus, Nikon. Uh, this digital camera here, this Canon, is vintage. It's kind of cool. It's going to sell for about $80 or so. We got this film camera. This sells for 40 bucks. Believe it or not, this lens right here, $600 lens. Um, I got all of these for under $5. Just look for them at thrift stores. They're everywhere. Another really popular item and category, especially amongst hobby sellers, are coins and currency. So my father, um, he's been watching my YouTube channel. He knows that I've been doing eBay reselling for a while. He's actually become very interested in selling coins and currency. So I'll probably introduce him into the channel sometime and we'll kind of go over his journey and things like that as well. But there's just so many coins and currencies. You guys have obviously seen it on, you know, Pawn Stars and Antique Roadshow. There's these coins that sell for tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars. There's notes and, and bills that sell for tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. And then you're gonna find coins all the time from different countries or from different time periods that sell for 20, 40, 80, $100. And then there's just the good old American currency. You get a $1 bill that has a cool serial number or a limited print or even like a cool date that you can sell for 10 bucks, 70 bucks, 400 bucks, what have you. It's a really cool niche to get into. I'm excited to show you guys through the lens of my dad how that goes as well. Yet another small item that eBay is actually focusing on. If you go to their quarterly reports for investors, they're actually talking about how they're focusing on a few specific categories that are selling really well, especially amongst Gen Z, millennials, and people that they're trying to get more and more excited about the platform, and that is watches. You can sell a ton of vintage watches for tons of money. You can also sell modern watches. Pretty much any watch right now is kind of on fire because eBay is putting marketing dollars behind them and they're really trying to ramp up those sales and get as many watch sales as possible. So watches also really small, tiny item that you can ship first class, ground, ground advantage now, you get the point though. Watches are something to definitely be looking out for. And then of course, I hope you guys don't feel limited to just those 10 items. There are a ton of items that are small that can sell for huge profits on eBay. For example, pocket knives. Pocket knives are awesome. There's actually pretty easy to source. There's a ton of online auction sites where you can buy in bulk confiscated knives that go through airport security. Stamps, you can find stamps everywhere. Little voice recorders by Panasonic or Sony. AirPods, tons and tons and tons of toys, vintage or modern, My Littlest Pet Shop, little um, Paw Patrol cake toppers, Ninja Turtles, the list goes on and on and on and on. Also baseball cards, basketball cards, Pokemon cards, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's a ton of trading cards that sell for good money. There's also um, golf head covers. I could go on and on and on and on. You can actually run, I know it's ground advantage now, but you can run a strictly first class business, live an awesome life, just having really small things that sell really well. I prefer having a little bit of everything, it keeps me on my toes, makes me more money. I have a lot more fun, I do more research, I love to learn. But there are so many small items out there that sell for big profits, we just gotta go out there and find them.